so I'm standing here with John Lanchester um, at the British Council Literary Seminar and we were talking today about uh, writing in public and what do you think is meant by this title? What is for you writing in public? Well the panel we had uh, was largely a discussion about the sense of books being addressed to particular concerns and having a kind of public role and a public responsibility and to a really striking extent uh, it was interesting um, it was six novelists and everyone to one degree or another rejected that idea of um, the kind of burden of um, responsibility effectively I mean one of the phrases I used in the talk was talking about the horror of responsibility that clearly everyone had so and then we started talking about whether the novel has, has, has made a kind of retreat from certain sorts of uh, polemical, public, political role and is now more increasingly concentrated on private spaces. Do you think, think that's true? Well, it, it, it does kind of feel true. I think the question is how much of a loss that is. Um, and that it probably is a loss in a way. Um, and we would, some of the 19th century writers came up in context of novels addressing specific social ills and grievances. Um, and I think the general feeling was that, um, you know, most most writers now, certainly most people in that room, will take their cues from a public thing in order to write a kind of private internal story. It was striking how internal people's descriptions of, of the process was. And do you also have, the, uh, is, is it your feeling that the word intellectual has a bad connotation for writers today, to be an intellectual well, public well, voice? Well, the thing about in intellectual is, uh, this is not uh, a general thing, but it's in in Britain. It's a basically a negative term. It has negative connotations, mainly because it, you know the culture is very prides itself on being kind of empiricist and pragmatic, and and rejecting certain kinds of you know highfalutin um, uh, ideas, and to an extent, a negative extent, rejecting difficult discourse. Mm -hmm. So intellectual is an entirely negative term in Britain, which is not the case here, I think. Um, as the last question, could you uh, explain to uh, me and then maybe my readers there uh, what you meant with vitamin books? A certain form of public writing, I think, uh, writing addressed to the public, which you didn't oh, no, like. I, what I, what well, is that? We, I used the term, I borrowed the term vitamin book. Um, there's not so much, it's not for books directed to a public, it's for the way that certain books get taken up. Um, uh, and that they're kind of, the idea of the vitamin is that they're supplying a deficiency, so you can go through your daily life you know, not caring anything about what happens in Afghanistan, but you have read A Thousand Splendid Sons, uh, you know, not caring anything about um, Libya, but you have read a novel about Libya, you know, and they're sort of supplying the fact that actually most of the time you don't think about, don't care, and don't know about the subject in question. And quite a lot of uh, contemporary reading is, in my view, that kind of uh, vitamin book, which is, you know, and the claims, even when they're good books, but the, 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 the claims on people's attention and the reason that they catch something are basically anti-literary. They're for reasons that aren't really to do with the text. Okay, thank you very much. <laughs>